Today we're back to basics, so we're doing a video about what is door access control. And first off, to understand this, well, the answer is pretty simple. Access control is a security solution to manage the entry point of your business and also to access the interior areas in your business. So there, this is to manage everything and everyone that comes in. So you want to create a schedule, it's great to have an access control system. You want to give permission to people to certain areas, same thing. So through the key fob card or any access card that you have, you can give those permission to your employees or even to people that may be living in a, a certain area. So through this, you need multiple components in your access control solution. And this is what we're gonna look at today. Let's get to it. The components of an access control system, it first start with the controller. We're gonna look at it a little bit later in the video, but the controller is the brain of your system. This is where all the communication comes through. Next would be the reader. So this is the access point. This is what would open a door for you to access a certain premise. In this case, it has a keypad, but you can also access it with a card or a key fob. Next is the door contact. This is on the door frame, so you will see it as soon as we open the door. You need a door strike, door strike or a mag lock, so this will open the door for you. So this is to make sure the door stay safely locked. And you also need a request to exit, commonly called a REX when we're talking about access control. So let's start by going inside this premise. So as I mentioned before, with this one, you can either use a code or if you have an access key like this one, this is my key fob. So if I badge it, it's turned to green and I have permission to access this door. Now, if you look up on the door frame, so right here, you have the door contact. So the door contact makes sure that the door it send the signal to the access control management that the door was open with someone with permission or was closed with someone with permission. Not only that, it also tells you if someone tried to force open the door. So if someone tried to push the door open, well, at this point, you would receive a notification on your management software that, well, someone is trying to enter your premise. Next up, I mentioned door strike or mag lock. This is what we have here. So this is a magnetic lock. It's really useful for accessibility purposes because not everyone can necessarily open the door. So as soon as you key with the key fob or your card on the reader, well, it will open the door for them. So it's just easier to access certain areas when you have this type of lock. Now, next to the maglock, so right here, we have the request to exit or the Rex. The way it works is a motion detector. So you can calibrate your Rex toward a certain area. So as soon as you get close to this area, it will open the door for you. Now, we're using a magnetic lock. In certain case, it would just unlock the door for you. So now, if I get close to it, I pass my hand next to the end all right here. So I come close to the door and then it triggers the Rex and the door is open by itself. So I can come back because again, I have permission. In some cases, there's also a reader on this side of the door to make sure that someone has the permission to also enter and exit a premise. Now we're gonna go more in details about all these kind of components we just saw for you to understand exactly what's happening behind the scene. Now to explain the behind the scene of what we just saw, we're using a training kit with every equipment that was installed before to show you how it works. As you can see, we have two keypads right there. So we have one light downstairs, so with a keypad and a reader. In this case, it's only a reader, so it only works with a key fob or a card. Here we have the PSU. So this part is the power supply. So this is what powers up 
all the system. And as I mentioned at the start of the video, you need a controller. So this is the brain of the system. This is where all your, your products communicate to transmit the information. So this is what control your access control. Now, to put you in context, we mentioned the door contact. So this was the little circle inside the door frame when we were downstairs. So this is what we have here on zone five. So the way it works is the zone five is connected to the reader right here and to the controller. So on the controller, you have Z5, this is a zone five, and you have your reader here. So if someone was forcing the door open, so let's force the door open here, you would hear this alarm. So he entered the premise without having access to it. And now if I do the same thing from the other side of the door, so through my zone six, so you have zone six here, again, that is connected to the reader on Z6. This is the request to exit. So if you remember, when we were next to the door, there was the motion detector that enabled the door to open by itself, so with the mag lock. It works exactly the same way here. So if I open my zone six, my reader turns to green because my door is open. And not only that, but you have the relay that is triggered on the controller. So if I do it again, I trigger my zone input, my relay opens, so the, it relays the information to the door that it is correctly opens through the request to exit, so through the Rex, and it opens the mag lock to let people leave the premise. So this is kind of, again, an example of what we saw, but the behind the scene, normally it will be installed in a DIN rail box, for example, safely packed uh, in a certain area. But now you have a better understanding on how things work when we're talking about access control. This was a back to basic video. Like and subscribe, we do this education video for you guys. So if you're starting in the industry, we will do more. But if you're a veteran on in the industry, don't worry, we also got you covered. We have a lot more advanced topics that are coming your way. So if you hit that bell button, well, you will see the notification on all the videos that are coming in. And again, we do it for you. We like this, this environment that we're doing right now. So we'll see each other on the next one.